what's good everyone welcome back to another episode of lkd talks my name is emmanuel lkd as you already know and why don't we just unplug and be real for a sec now today i'm just gonna talk about just getting started now just to start us off it took me a while to get started with this whole podcast in general all right I made so many excuses. I kept thinking, oh, I need to have the right artwork. I need to have the right release date. I need to have the right this and this and this and this. I just had this mindset where I just had to get everything right. But I feel like no one really cares until you actually start or until you actually get some momentum going or uh, things don't really happen until you just start. Just get things done. Things don't have to be perfect. Just start. Just start. That's that's what I've learned. And this can apply to a lot of things, whether it's working out or getting some homework done, writing a paper, watching One Piece. <laughs> the key is to just get started. That's really what I've learned. And that's how you can get things done. And... Even today, just starting this episode, just to, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. Even today, just starting this episode, I I knew I had to get started. I wanted to get an episode done, so I just cleaned up my desk a little bit, made it look a little presentable, got a haircut, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm kidding, that's not the reason why, but... It really just takes just little steps, just little steps to get to where you want to be. And you got to be consistent with it, too. you got to be consistent with it. And it's hard. It's hard. You know, it's hard to get started, but it's easier to consume it when you take it little by little. You know, it's like an appetizer for food. You don't just take the whole steak in. I mean, you could do that. But sometimes, sometimes you'll want to just kind of ease into it, you know, get the egg roll or get the croissant or get the breadsticks, you know. Uh, So that's how I like to apply it to working or getting your craft done, working on your craft. Even sometimes for me, for songwriting, I'll just write some bars here and there, you know, instead of being so intimidated by the concept of writing a whole song. I'll just start with two bars, you know, I'll start with two bars today. Okay, I'll start with two bars, and that's it, you know, and then the next day, you know, I'll go two bars again, and then, you know, I mean, this is just an example. I'm not advising you to just go two bars a day. You can if you've been super, if you've just been super, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Not brain dead, burnt out. No, not burnt out. I want to say like, If you've ever faced a block, then ease into it, you know? I mean, like, two bars a day, that's kind of a stretch. I would say maybe a verse a day or maybe eight bars a day. Just something to get the brain, uh, just get the gears going. Just anything to get the gears going. That's really it. So just start off like that, just to get the gears going, just like when I'm cleaning up my room, just pick up the little things, pick up all the napkins that I save for whenever I think I need them for like wiping the desk off or anything. That's very personal. <laughs> but <clears throat> but yeah, just something, just, just start, start small and ease into it. It doesn't have to be two bars a day. It could be eight bars a day or a verse a day. But maybe just starting off like that, if you have super bad rider's block, then you can't do two bars a day. Anyway, we digress. You get the points. Just kind of ease into it. And then the the big chunky parts will be bitten off more. I saw this. I saw this one. I saw this. <clears throat> I saw this one post. I don't remember if it was on Instagram, but it was talking about intensity versus consistency it was talking about intensity versus consistency and it showed balls of fire so the first layer showed intensity and it was a super big fire and then it was like a super big fire like a supernova fire the first day and then the second day it was like you know just 
excuse me, not super big, but it was still pretty big. Then the third day, it was small. Then fourth day, it was just gone. And then the second layer showed a medium-sized fire. And then the second day said medium-sized fire. And then the third day was a medium-sized fire. So really, it just goes to show that consistency over intensity is what matters. Because if you go with a super high intensity and try to do that for all of your days, you're gonna get burnt out. That's how it is with working out, for example. You try to just push or uh, you try to just push as much weight as you can uh, and then <clears throat> every single day, but then you're, you're gonna get burnt out. Your body's not gonna be able to take it. That's why you gotta do it consistent, consistently, but not as intense. Only if your body can take it, only if your mind can take it, then you can take on heavier loads every day and every day. But if you're just starting out, if you're just getting started, start small. Don't be afraid. It's okay. Everyone starts somewhere. That's what I've learned. Everywhere starts somewhere. And even if it's something that you've been doing for a long time and you want to get back into it, you know, start small. I would, I would encourage that. That's just my opinion. Start small and then ease into it. You know, it's been a while since I wrote a song. So, you know, today I just decided to think of some melodies or hum some melodies just to get the gears in motion. You know, I did that yesterday too, just to hum some melodies, just to get the gears in motion. And, uh, I'm, I'm going to need to write just two bars today just to get something going. And then, I'm not saying to write two bars as the maximum, but as the minimum. You know, I'm just kind of backtracking here. Uh, I don't have a script or anything, so this is all flowing from the mind. But you could take the two bar thing. If you're a songwriter or a rapper or an artist, this is for you. You could take the two bar thing <clears throat> as a minimum because... Naturally, if you get started on something, you're want you're gonna want to keep going, right? You're gonna want to keep going, and that's how it is with working out. Sometimes, you know, you feel the pain, you feel the tear, you get the endorphins kicking in, and then you're like, ooh, ooh I can go more, I can go harder. The endorphins and dopamine, all of that starts kicking in. You're like, ooh, I can go, I can go more. I can do one more set. I can do one more, you know, I can do one more set of reps. I can do one more workout. That's how it is. And sometimes it might feel like that when writing a song. Like, I wrote two bars. I'm like, ooh, these are kind of nasty. I just thought of another bar that I think I could complement that bar and stuff like that. And then you want to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So it really just starts with just getting started. But getting started is so hard. And if it's so hard, start small into it, okay? That's how you won't get intimidated. Whew. Ooh, that's fire. Hope you all enjoy this episode. I just wanted to say this. It was hard for me to get started just to do this but I literally told myself this video is only going to take 10 minutes <laughs> and I want to keep going even more but yeah I just proved my point <laughs> all right hope y'all have a great rest of your day be safe and when you want to get started on something start small and then uh Use that kind of as the minimum, you know, use that as a minimum. And then once you once it kicks in, you want to keep going, keep going, keep going. OK, I'm just going to stop now, but y'all get the picture. Stay blessed. Take care. See you guys next time. Peace.